Good day everyone. Uh, I'm going to show and a release. This is the release video for the Moonbase Alpha Tone Writer that I've been working on. A friend of mine from the Ukraine has been helping me create it. And when you download the package you get this zip archive. Uh, and I'm launching it from here to show you that it does work. This is an X uh, file that's more better to use with Microsoft Excel. The ODS will open in LibreOffice or uh, OpenOffice Calc. This is, like I said, better to use for Excel. There's a README file in here. Please read it. Uh, we'll launch directly from the zip archive, but you can extract it if you like. Um, I'll get into showing this a little bit in a little bit. But uh, we tried to write a songwriter for it that you can write songs with lyrics with this thing, um, but because of the limitations of Excel and Calc programs, the games coding and deck talk. It's just really extremely difficult to do without building a database of every single word in the English language and other languages if we wanted to translate it. So, um, <laughs> We're not willing to do that work for a game. Sorry folks, but this is uh, basically just a reference guide that I included because of those limitations. Hopefully this is a huge help to some people that don't understand it. These tables down here are the phonemes. Um, this is how you pronounce, the, get the TTS in Moonbase Alpha to pronounce these letters as in these words. So like the example column is the word and the, that this letter would be the pronunciation of in this word. And the yellow columns are what you would use in, in the TTS code to make those pronunciation pronunciation sounds. I've also included a download button to a the DeckTalk 5 program <clears throat> that I made a zip archive of that includes the DeckTalk user guide and a few other things. So if you want to use DeckTalk or play around with it, there you go. There's the program for you, you can download. Um, if you want to see the entire guide where I got these phonemes from, click on this button and it opens a browser. And there's the official Deck Talk guide. You can download the PDF form format of it if you would like. So there's that. That, this is a dictation area where you can place the word here and the number reference from either of the keys. There are only 37 notes, 1 through 37, in available in Deck Talk for uh, vocal singing with lyrics. That's why I only did it to 37. The tone writer we wrote uh, does quite a bit more. These are for the tones, uh, such as um, Funky Town and things like that. I'm going to show this off a little bit by writing an ex the example of an example of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, this is the duration that if 
you it's the duration of the tone like how long you want the tone to play so that one's 500 milliseconds this is a thousand milliseconds and you can use this button to clear the code I'm gonna leave this 250 for Mary Had a Little Lamb I'll show you what this button does in a bit this contact button leads to uh, my YouTube channel's discussions so you can leave me a message if you find something in the program that maybe we should fix or doesn't work right we tried to secure it so um, it can't be messed up like you can't access the uh, program coding to it <clears throat> or unlock the sheets so if for some reason that it becomes corrupt or something you can just go and re-download it there will be a steam guide and a link in the description of this YouTube video for the download but anyway basically what you do is you double click on these number keys and it automatically writes the note for you or writes the code for you so Mary had a little lamb When it gets to going to go over 128 ca text characters, which is the message limit in the game, it will start a new line. And then there's the code and if you want to play all of what you created you left click and drag to highlight it all and then hit this play selected button and it'll play it all for you and then you can <clears throat> copy paste it line for line and copy paste line for line in the game or what I do is I copy all of it and I use auto hotkey which I'll put a link in the description of and write a script that copy paste it all for me in 128 character messages now this is my script file and I'm gonna make this control G I'll give you a little tutorial on how to write the script for this purpose for um, deck talk in moon base alpha <clears throat> for auto hotkey um, not going to go into it in a lot of detail but I'll give you enough that you can write your own and this is just stuff I do to keep my coding organized Why that's not oh that's not a semicolon that's why it's not rimmed out the semicolon causes is a rem or remove command in the scripting language for auto hotkey what a rem is is basically it means it's short for remove it just causes the 
script to not read that line when there's a semicolon in the beginning of it. So if you want um, auto hotkey key command for the script to include control, that is the character in the code for that is the up arrow, which is shift and six. It's above the number six on an American English keyboard. And I'm making this control G, so that's what I'm going to do. And I also put these things in there. Uh, this program is Notepad++, by the way. It's a uh, free text editor that's advanced and has a lot of features that a regular Notepad does not have. Um, I advise do not use Word or any kind of other text editor that's not a plain text ed editor to write these scripts because um, those programs like Microsoft Word, LibreOffice, and OpenOffice Writer add a bunch of code be in the background to those to text that you don't see that may cause issues with scripting. So if you pr don't want to download Notepad++, which I'll leave a link in the description for, as well as auto hot key and of course a download link to the tone writer uh, please use notepad for this don't use a uh, text writer which would be Microsoft Word, Bleeber, or OpenOffice Writer or WordPad because as I said they add extra code in the background that you don't see that could mess it up that's why it's recommended not to use those programs for writing code. Well, they are text editors, they're not code, edi code editors. But anyway, back to the script. What we first need um, auto hotkey to do is to hit the enter key. So the script code for that to cause auto hotkey to do that is send and enter like that then we need it to send one of the lines of code so I'm gonna paste the code we copied from the tone writer in there then we need auto hotkey to hit the enter key again to send that message line and then what we need to do is we need to make it rest and I'm gonna make it do that for 2800 milliseconds and that is the command for that which is sleep and a number <coughs> uh, just so you know there is a limitation in deck talk between deck talk and the game and playing online and multiplayer games that has to do with the tick rate and connections between people in the game that um, the rest period between codes on an online game don't seem to work very well under 2000 milliseconds I uh, haven't figured out why that is exactly yet but that's the case so just so you know and we need to have it <coughs> open the chat again and send this line and we need it to hit the enter key again to send send that line to through the chat as a message we need to make it sleep again we need to reopen the chat again send this line to the chat and we need it to hit enter again and then return tells auto hotkey to stop the script otherwise it'll keep running through all these other scripts let's 
So the script is done, and then we can. This is the auto hotkey installed, and it has it there nice and easy for me. I have an error in line 432. So we'll find that line and correct that issue. I misspelled return. <coughs> so we'll save that and right click and reload the script. And since it didn't prompt me that there's errors, there are no more errors. So we'll go into the game, hit Control G, and it should play. Notice it's also a little faster in the game than it is through uh, the Tone Writer. That is because Deck Talk is a little faster than Computer Mini Tones, which is what the Tone Writer is using. Again, there's nothing we can do about that. That I know of, anyway, or that we figured out. If we do figure some things out, we may update the uh, Tone Writer. And we are still working on trying to get it to be a help people write songs as well. But this is as far along as it is now, and why it has a version number because we will update it at our leisure for fun. And hope you enjoy it. Hope it helps you have some fun in the game with the TTS program. I really hope it's not going to be used as something to create things to terrorize people with. That's not what I intended to do. Please don't use it for that. If it is used for that, I may find a way to try to find a way to take it down. So don't use it to terrorize people. That's not cool. But anyway, I hope you have fun with it. That's the Tone Writer. Thanks for watching. Take care.